Agatha episode one, Seekest Thou Road. Follow the yellow brick road. So the show tries to start off with a depression, true detective type vibe. A lot of which I believe were pretty much in the trailers. They've got Agatha, they're calling her Agnes, doing her best K Vess impersonation. Star Wars Ilaws are all no makeup, frumpy, androgenized, plain clothes detective, you know, that kind of get up. She's talking to DEI cop number one, Herb, which is also her neighbor. And in true detective fashion, they start talking about the case. And the entire fucking audience has already solved it by the time they walk up to the body. I mean, how disrespectful to the true detective show. This show's like true detective, right? Just like uh, Acolyte was, this is Kill Bill. So, spoiler alert, it's the corpse of fucking Scarlet Witch in her plain Jane Wanda outfit, mom outfit from Doctor Strange 2. DEI cop says she was crushed and they show her face down. Black fingers from using the dark hole. Ooh, what a mystery. This is some true detective going on here, right? And get this, their only evidence is a library card that Wanda liked to carry around with her, you know? Because when she's going around fucking up Okar Martage, when she's snapping fucking Professor Xavier's neck, when she's turning Reed Richards into fucking spaghetti, she likes to make sure that her Westview library cards in her pocket while she's doing all this. Hmm. And I wonder what book she got from this library card. Gay. Then we head to the library and we have Dottie at the counter. Dottie is the freaking blonde chick, Emma Colfield, that was in Buffy. She was originally rumored to be Dr. Doom's mom. Well, that didn't play out. And so she's working as a uh, person at the library. She shows the Wanda card. She goes, it wasn't returned or something like that. She goes, oh, don't worry. There's multiple copies though, right? So she goes to the library and all the books are burned right there, right? So when Wanda destroyed Wonder Gore Mountain, all the fucking copies of the Darkhold burned as the building destroyed, as the Darkhold can't be destroyed, right? And then do Dude appears and says there was a fire here every copy was burnt or some shit like that now the dude i think he's one i don't know if he's one of the town's people from wandavision i didn't really recognize him i was thinking oh maybe they'll play this guy as the dark hole dwarf yeah right i highly doubt that uh, but it would be smart if they actually did but they won't then we go to the police station and what do we get the first white dude shows up, right? Bun blundering, stumbling, slob, juggling clown. <laughs> Police chief eats uh, jelly donuts with fucking jelly stains on his fucking shirt. Typical fucking white, straight white male, right? Uh, the chief tells her uh, forensics came in on Jane Doe as he goes into her office, right? And the dirt under her fingernails is from Eastern Europe. Hmm, I wonder if that's like uh, fucking Sokovia or wherever they put Wanda Gore Mountain in this fucking uh, Doctor Strange movie. Then they introduce Aubrey Plaza's character and her character's name is Rio Vidal. So we're going to call her Vidal Sassoon. We take pride in you. If you don't look good, we don't look good. Vidal Sassoon. Because that sounds right. And then we get a dumb line about foreign dirt attracts the feds or some shit like that. That's the Agatha line towards Aubrey Plaza. So Vidal Sassoon, Vidal Sassoon says the body has footprints around it. It appears the body just magically appeared there. So she's like trying to hint around. And you could tell they have this lesbian tension angst between them. What are you doing here? So they obviously know each other. And then Agatha stays late at the station. She figures out the first letters of every word in the book that Wanda checked out spells dark hold oh my gosh wow so that's like really true detective too right the capital letters and they all spell out dark hold like that was really hard to fucking figure out right and then dorky clown police captain comes in and makes her go home <laughs> You know, he's a slacker too. Like, go home. We wouldn't want you working any overtime. <laughs> I'm a goofy white guy. And then she ends up going to a pawn shop and asks about a brooch she found. Yeah, she found a brooch in the river. I don't know if it was Wanda's or hers because later on a brooch appears again. So I don't know if she has multiple or she's given them away. I can't fucking remember. And the origin was South American, they say. So it's her own brooch that she gave Wanda, I believe. Agatha's at home and Vidal Sassoon shows up Vidal Sassoon. and has some beers. And then she listens to her whine about the case. You can tell she's 
like, oh God, bitch. Like, I don't even want to hear about this shit. You can definitely tell there's in a play on this lesbian tension vibe that they're trying to play up. And then she hears shit upstairs. And then she chases some dude in a ski mask right out the balcony. And then she falls, Agatha. She's like holding on to the gutter, which doesn't break somehow. And then she ends up busting him. And she's a cop. She's falling, fucking herself up. She's not as agile as this thief who we find out is an effeminate male. And then she ends up busting him. It's, he ends up getting ran over by somebody as she's chasing him on foot. And it's the not Wiccan character, you know, AKA teen. They're calling him teen. Like that's his name in this show. Cause they're, they're going to really uh, pull, pull one over on us, surprise us with who it is. And then she starts interrogating him about the murder and why he broke into her house. And meanwhile, you have Vidal Sassoon. Vidal Sassoon. She's in the police back room. You know, you look through the glass and it's a mirror. You guys know you've seen murder investigation shows. I'm sure she starts interrogating him about the murder and why he broke into her house. And then weird shit starts to happen. She throws pictures. They're supposed to be, of Wanda down and instead they're pictures of flowers and front yards and shit like that from WandaVision land, right? And then mirrors start turning into paintings and then Wiccan starts chanting a spell or not Wiccan, the effeminate not Wiccan chants a spell and she ends up in a moor and then Vidal Sassoon, Vidal Sassoon. shows up. She just happens to be in the morgue with her and then magically Wanda's or who knows who this murdered person is, their toe tag has the initials W Maximov pop up. Oh, now we know it's Wanda. And then Vidal Sassoon, Vidal Sassoon tells her, hey, there's two homicides that day, her and your mind. And then she looks at the toe tag again and we see a Harkness appear, right? And then she starts getting hot and flustered. She starts tearing off multiple layers of clothing and they're all different outfits from WandaVision. Whatever. That's kind of like clever. It's stupid though. At the end of the day, this bitch is wearing like 15 jackets, 20 shirts. It wasn't that many, but it's a, a numerous amount of freaking clothing. Finally, she magically appears in her house and she remembers who she is and she's butt fucking ass naked and she walks out to neighbor DEI cops lawn only with hair covering like basically her nipples like like most of her breasts right you see some of her breasts she's butt naked because you know this is a kid show it's we're on Disney plus it's kid family friendly we can't do like Lovecrafty and horror or anything like that we can show up bare ass 50 year old women and then we actually get to see Catherine Hahn bare ass as she runs back to her fucking house all pissed off after she talks to the neighbor talks some shit to Dottie across the street Dottie's a kid that's probably like 12 years old because you know 12 year old people should be seeing bare ass people walking in the middle of fucking street she goes and runs back in the house and like i really wanted to see Catherine hans fucking 50 year old ass running through the streets anyways and then she realizes who she is but she also realizes she doesn't have magic anymore she's trying to do her little magic shit she goes down to the basement which just is a regular basement now that's not like a dungeon type shit like it was in wandavision and then she finds her rabbit and then she hears knocking shit upstairs she realizes oh i captured not wiccan and hide him up in my closet and then she kind of thinks, oh, well, wait a minute. If he wasn't a figment of my magic, and then boom, wind blasts the fucking door open, and Vidal Sassoon, Vidal Sassoon comes in, and she's like dressed like a ninja with a black hood. She's got a big fucking knife, and they have a girl fight, sexual lesbian tension girl fight. So Vidal Sassoon, Vidal Sassoon has magic, right? She's a magic user. She still has all her magic powers. Agatha doesn't, but they're an even match when they're cat fighting. Okay. Yeah. Makes a lot of sense. Guys, if you want to see Aubrey. Aubrey Plaza, because I know like people think she's a great actress and all that. I actually used to not really like her at all. But then I watched Legion, a real Marvel show. And her first season of Legion, she knocked it out of the park. I gained all kinds of respect for her. Second season's pretty good too. Third season is right around the time when everyone got TDS and all the shows turned woke magically overnight. Legion's a freaking dope show. Better than any of the Disney Plus shit and better than a lot of the Netflix shit actually too. Didn't have the budget as some of the other stuff. But uh, yeah, League's better than this show. So apparently there's there's some rule that you can't kill Agatha. They're not allowed to kill each other or just she can't kill her or whatever. And then she tell uh, Agatha's like, oh, you should wait until I have my power. She's like, well, I can't kill you, but I can fucking torture you. Blah, 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 whatever. So the rumor I've been hearing, and there's a couple hints to it in the show. I wouldn't count that for anything. We had Mephisto, Mephisto, Mephisto all over the other shows. Uh, we had hints of Grim Reaper. We had hints of Bova. We had hints of all different kinds of shit in WandaVision. The rumor is Aubrey Plaza is the gender-bent version of Blackheart. 
fucking Blackheart, the son of Mephisto, dude. Now, there's a part where she, yeah, she says, um, you don't have a heart. This is it right really around this time, too, when they're doing this battle. And she goes, heart. you yes. don't have a heart. Thank and she you. says, yes, I it's do. Black. It's black and it beats for you. So that would be the MCU way to do it, right? Sex change Blackheart, known Ghost Rider villain. That one dude that played him did a pretty good job in that Ghost Rider movie, the first Ghost Rider. Anyways, she tells Agatha that she's willing to wait for her to get her powers back, but she'll be telling the Salem Seven about her. And that's pretty much the end of the episode. So not impressed at all. A waste of Aubrey Plaza, waste of Catherine Hahn. Blackheart isn't a fucking witch. <laughs> Blackheart has a demonic powers and he's a son of Mephisto. So that theory's stupid, but I wouldn't put it behind Kevin Feige to do some dumb shit like that. <laughs> That's all I got for today, guys. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share this out to any and everyone that you think is interested in real Star Wars and real Marvel content. Until next time, see you later.